night, guys. What's going on? Stinky armpit base back up in this thing. So, Steve Mead's design DD1. Is it legit? I don't know. About to find out. Is it expensive? Yeah, for what it does? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty pricey. DSO Nano V3. Of course, I've got uh, upgraded uh, prongs and probes and all that, whatever that stuff is. Um, but yeah, as far as tuning goes, there's nothing like seeing the sine wave. Now, clipping and distortion are two separate commodities. Sometimes they go hand in hand, sometimes not. It's cool to see the actual sine wave and see the clip. Unfortunately, clipping and distortion aren't the same thing. You can experience distortion at, you know, volume one on your head unit. Uh, there's a lot more variables, I feel, with distortion as opposed to clipping. So, Steve Mead's teamed up with DMR Engineering, and they have a whole line of easy, easy products to take the guesswork out. And instead of having to look for the sine wave, adjust the wave so you can see the peaks and the lows, uh, you just look for a light. Uh, you have to buy a nine volt battery. And yeah, you just look at the light. So, it's the box it comes with. Um, surprisingly good quality. I don't know what else I expected, you know. Never had SMD anything, because I feel like everything that he makes is way overpriced for what it is. But, based on this one product, it's, uh, it's rock solid. Uh, you have like the uh, silicone uh, cover, you put the nine volt battery in the back. And you've got distortion light. Uh, you have two different signal detect lights. Uh, you've got the one kilohertz and 40 hertz. Also the signal light, of course. Um, low battery, which is cool. And power, on, off. It's got some cool settings on there. Additionally, this bad boy comes with, well, that's printed. That kind of makes it feel good. Uh, it comes with a CD on there. Okay, you're going to have all kinds of stuff on there. All the way from, I think, negative 15 dB all the way to zero dB. Um, this is... You know, I've been doing car audio for, for a good while. Uh, this is by far probably one of the coolest manuals pound for pound that I've ever seen. Due to the fact they put their opinions in here uh, about the product, you know, um, first time you use a, a DD1 and actually see how it works. Uh, for me personally, it kind of changed the way that I, I thought about tuning, uh, the way that it operates, because this is uh, really one of the first instruments that's really helped me learn about distortion uh, as opposed to clipping. Now I've always heard distortion, or you can, you hear it at car shows, you hear it in uh, you know, factory cars and people turn it up too loud, you hear it all the time. But to actually learn what it is and, and, and the root means and, and what it does to your, uh, your audio, not only audibly you can hear it, but you know, it's kind of stuff that's going on with your equipment, you know, blowing speakers because of distortion and all that, especially mids and highs. And it's cool to be able to, to know about clipping and that. What's up guys, let me interrupt real quick in the video, something I forgot to say. The, uh, the DD1's dope in the fact that it measures distortion, so that, sh that could be a distortion in your head unit, distortion from your RCA cables, uh, a bad amp, uh, even amps with a very low gain. So it, uh, it helps you to detect faulty equipment. Now, if, of course, if you see distortion uh, when you're turning the gain up, that's true distortion uh, because uh, signal is distorted, but uh, there have been a lot of scenarios where it's distorted even with the gain all the way down and the amps on due to uh, faulty equipment. So I just wanted to add that. All right, back to the video. Um, this is really a piece of cake. You've got a uh, RCA jack input, which that's just genius. Uh, there's not some kind of weird input like the DSO Nano. Uh, you can even make your own RCAs. Uh, it does come with a uh, positive and negative probe. As I was saying about the, uh, the owner's manual earlier, uh, being probably the coolest one of any product that I've ever had, uh, I think it's pretty dope the fact that they actually tell you uh, the test tunes you should run and all that. Uh, they don't really tell you why so much. I mean, there's a, there's a brief description, but seeing the results firsthand, uh, doing this for a while, this is kind of sloppy, kind of a rebuild right now, but actually seeing uh, proof in the pudding, so to speak, it's a, it's really a game changer. Um, I was always a zero DB kind of guy, you know, I play nothing but decaf, uh, DJ slowing through, all that good stuff. So I always wanted to, uh, to play it safe. Now, honestly, I've got an X15s right now. I have never blown one subwoofer, um, only like factory mids and stuff in cars before I replaced them. So I'm trying to keep that alive. I didn't realize that at zero dB, which I've learned recently, um, you're actually cutting off a ton of dB you could potentially get. So for example, I would definitely do mids and highs zero dB. 
he tells you flat out in the owner's manual in here, use negative 5 dB. You've got 5 dB of overlap to kind of go into detail about which test tune you could use. First, let's start with what 0 dB is. Everyone uses it. So there's nothing more harsh on an audio system than a test tone. It's not dynamic. It's just constant. And it's especially 0 dB. So um, to my understanding, 0 dB, outside of going positive, um, you know, that's as loud as your music is, is ever going to get for the most part. So what happens is when you have, you've already tuned your head unit. When you're sitting here and you're doing the gain, uh, looking for the clip and all that on the amp, that zero dB, which is stronger than any music you'll play, won't let you get as, as high on the gain. So then you play uh, boosted music. So for example, I was told the other day that decaf records at negative seven. You've got seven dBs that you're off. So that, that's really, really interesting. Um, in fact, in the owner's manual, it says to tune your, uh, your sub amp uh, at either negative 10 or, or negative 15. I did, I did my uh, Tromps HD8K at negative 10, and it's just hammering compared to before. Uh, on my mids and highs, I always did 0 dB uh, just because I didn't want to blow anything and I hate distortion. Steve Mead said, you know what, use negative 5, which for me, I was, I was on the internet looking for negative 3. I was like, no, nah, play, I can't even do all that. I used the negative 5. It's not distorting and it's probably 30 40 percent louder than it was uh it's it's just insanity um when i tune with my uh, dd1 in conjunction with using it of course i use my dmm uh you know you're always going to use the uh the little equation they have for finding out the uh, unloaded ac voltage um so i do that just to kind of eyeball it because i know my amps pretty well um but this distortion the tech light is no joke it is it is the real deal um, you know what? I was just thinking uh, a couple days ago. Funniest thing about all the SMD products, especially the DD1, they remind me of iPhone. Having an iPhone is like a uh, is a, like a little kid's toy. So for car audio, these are like little kids' toys, just like the iPhone. But what you can't argue is the fact that the iPhone 7 or 7s crushes every other smartphone on the planet with the uh, the benchmarks and and 22 and all that mess. So there's an amazing amount of technology behind it. Looking at the way this thing works, uh, the amount of technology and engineering, shout out to Tony Diamore, is, is insanity. But the user interface and the way they tell you how to use it works, and it's easy, just like the iPhone. Um, but I like the SMD products, and I still hate my iPhone. But this is, this is no joke. A lot of people think it's uh, just hocus pocus and magic. No, this is for real. Uh, go, go on their YouTube channel and look at, you know, 20 O-scopes versus 1 DD-1. It's, it's, always, it's always dead on. Uh, less than 1% THD, all that kind of good stuff. So this is the real deal. You can always go get a, a, a DSO Nano or whatever kind of really entry-level, uh, you know, small O-scope or whatever. But I want to keep it real with you guys. I only got that thing back in the day to, to tune with. I have no idea what all those other functions are. And the amount of time it takes me to set up this and that's got to be clipped on there. And if they're too close, then you get a distorted signal on it. Dude, you put an RCA jack in, two probes, you look for a freaking light. And then you stop on the game. I compared how long it took me to tune with this and my DMM versus this and my DMM. Uh, and it was like at least half the time. It was just insanity. So I can't, uh, I can't speak enough about the DD1. They're, they're just rock solid. So... Uh, check out their other products too. I think there's like an AAM1 or something like that. And there's a, something that does the impedance, whatever. So big shout out to uh, SMD. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting more of their products one of these days. See ya, player. Peace.